The chapter, which is actually two different tellings of what happened after the flood. Read as a single story, it reads kind of like a moron wrote it. Looking at you, syphilis-laden, lice-infected, woman-hating, goat-loving author of the Bible. Read separately, though, it makes for two completely coherent stories, written by two completely different morons. Stick around. Okay, so as I was reading chapter 8, I started to make some points about how crazy it all seemed. Then something hit me. It's not actually one story. It's two completely different tellings of the same story. Let's take a look at these two versions. Chapter 8, verses 1 through 5, are actually two separate introductions to the two different versions of the story jammed together. Version 1, verse 1. But God remembered Noah and all the wild animals and the livestock that were with him in the ark, and he sent a wind over the earth, and the waters receded. Introduction of version 2, which is verses 2 through 3.5. Now the spring of the deep and the floodgates of the heavens had been closed, and the rain had stopped falling from the sky. The water receded steadily from the earth. Back to version 1, verses 3.5 and verse 4. At the end of the 150 days, the water had gone down, and on the 17th day of the seventh month, the ark came to rest on the mountains of Ararat. Back to version 2, verse 5. The waters continued to recede until the 10th month, and on the first day of the 10th month, the tops of the mountains became visible. So in one version of the story, the waters were there for seven months. In the second version, it was 10. And to read this like a single story in the order it was written, it reads as though the ark already rested upon the mountain and the waters had receded and the mountain tops were visible. Then Noah sent out a raven who flew around until the water was gone. But wasn't it already gone? But anyway, the water's gone. But then he sends out a dove which couldn't find a dry place to land. He waits for seven days. The dove come back with a leaf. He waits seven more days. The dove doesn't come back. As one story, it reads like a bunch of nonsense. But as two separate stories, verses 15 through 19 are just Noah and the animals leaving the ark twice. Again, two different versions of the same tale. And it's also quite wasteful in its wording. In the first version, verse 15, instead of saying, God said to Noah, you and your family can leave the ark, it said, God said to Noah, come out of the ark, you and your wife and your sons and their wives. Then again, in the second version, verse 18, it does it again. It's not Noah and his family left the ark. No, it's so Noah came out together with his sons and his wife and his son's wives. Lots of wasted space in words. If we switch to older Bible versions, I'm sure the wording and waste would only get worse. And we couldn't even get through this chapter without at least a little bit of misogyny slipping through. Listing all the men first, then the women in one version. It's not Noah and his wife, his sons, and their wives, which of course is still patriarchal, but not to be unexpected. But no, it's penises first all the way in one version of the story. Noah and the boys, the wife and the girls. And then there are the animals. Of course, there's lots of waste of space in each version as it tells us once again, excuse me, twice again, about all the damned animals. Version 1, verse 19, could have said every creature came out of the ark. Instead, we get something similar to chapter 7's word vomit nonsense. Bring out every kind of living creature that is with you. Could have stopped there, but no. The birds, the animals, and all the creatures that move along the ground, so they can multiply on the earth and be fruitful and increase in number. Version 2, more word vomit. All the animals and all the creatures that move along the ground, and all the birds, everything that moves on land, came out of the ark, one kind after another. And as you would expect, the last few verses are the ends of the two different stories. In one, Noah builds an altar to God, burns some animals, and God sings a song. And in the other, God promises to never rage quit on humanity again, and does some navel gazing about all the murder death kill he's done. Then he promises to never do it again. These verses at the end are just more mashed together than the rest. I'll split them apart and add them to their complete separate versions of the story here in just a second. So here we go, version one in its complete form. Remember, this is chapter eight with about half the scriptures cut out of it. Should be a completely incoherent story. But God remembered Noah and all the wild animals and the livestock that were with him in the ark. And he sent a wind over the earth and the waters receded. After 40 days, Noah opened a window he had made in the ark and sent out a raven. And it kept flying back and forth until the water had dried up from the earth. Then God said to Noah, come out of the ark you and your wife and your sons and their wives. Bring out every kind of creature that is with you, the birds, the animals, and all the creatures that move along the ground, so they can multiply on the earth and be fruitful and increase in number. Then Noah built an altar to the Lord, and taking some of all the clean animals and clean birds, he sacrificed burnt offerings on it. The Lord smelled the pleasing aroma. Then the Lord sings, as long as the earth endures, seed time and harvest, cold and hard, summer and winter, day and night will never cease. 
See what I mean by sings? Looks like the Almighty rocks it a cappella at this point. Remember, before reading version 1, I said I'd removed half the scriptures from the chapter? Well, here are those scriptures. Again, if I'm wrong, this should sound like a bunch of complete nonsense. Version 2. Now, the springs of the deep and the floodgates of the heavens had been closed, and the rain had stopped falling from the sky. The waters receded steadily from the earth. The waters continued to recede until the tenth month, and on the first day of the tenth month, the tops of the mountains became visible. Then he sent out a dove to see if the water had receded from the surface of the ground. But the dove could find nowhere to perch because there was water all over the surface of the earth. So it returned to Noah in the ark. He reached out his hand and took the dove and brought it back to himself in the ark. He waited seven more days and again sent out the dove from the ark. When the dove returned to him in the evening, there in its beak was a freshly plucked olive leaf. Then Noah knew that the water had receded from the earth. He waited seven more days and sent the dove out again, but this time it did not return. So Noah came out together with his sons and his wife and his sons' wives, all the animals and all the creatures that moved along the ground and all the birds. Everything that moves on land came out of the ark, one kind after another. Then the Lord said, Never again will I curse the ground because of humans, even though every inclination of the human heart is evil from childhood. And never again will I destroy all living creatures as I have done. There you have it. Two completely different tellings of the same story, but with some minor detail differences. But Chris... Where does the evil God monster part come in, you ask? Didn't you know? Genesis chapter 8 is the first time we hear God admit to liking the smell of burning flesh. Yes, the God of love and mercy loves it when you kill an animal and burn its flesh. And it's not that they kill the animal so they can eat it. At this point in the story, people don't eat animals, only plants. Well, at least according to the next chapter where God specifically tells man to start eating the animals. So apparently they killed these animals for no reason other than to burn their flesh so the Lord could enjoy the smell. Exactly what you'd expect from the evil God monster of Abraham and its book of death. So what do you think? Do you agree with me that there are two similar but different stories being jammed together here? Let me know in the comments below.